Hello, welcome back. In today's video we will be covered some of the most important filters and slicers in Looker Studio. Previously we covered each specific filter and slicer that we can use in Looker Studio, but in this one we will go through all of them one more time. So let's revise our knowledge regarding filters and slicers. First I'm gonna start with filters. Let's check first KPIs that we have. If I click on this total sales, we have this number here. Now we don't have any filters applied on this KPI, so how can we filter that? If I go to setup section, if I scroll down, I will be able to find filter section. So let's click on add a filter. And then we have some existing filters that we already have. We can modify them or we can create a new filter. Let's create a filter. And that way we will be able to see this create filter section. Now first we need to provide name. So let's call it city filter. City filter, excellent. This is our data set and now we can specify our condition. Let's use this include, but we also have this exclude option. And now we need to choose a field. So I will choose city, select a condition, is equal to, and now we need to provide value. First city that we can see here is this one. So let's type it like that. And when I do that, I can click on save and I will be able to filter to see only values for that city. And as you can see, this is the same value that we have for this city here. So let's do the same, for example, for Berlin. Let's click on our KPI. Let's click on this city filter on this pencil. And now we will be able to edit it. Now let's type Berlin. Excellent. Let's click on save. And we will be able to see value for Berlin, as you can see. Excellent. Now let's check what else can we do. Basically, we can also include Seattle in this filter. So let's see how can we do that. Include city equal to Berlin. Or let's click on or. Include. Again, we need to choose city equal to Seattle. Let's click on save. And that way we will be able to see total sales for Berlin and Seattle. Excellent. Let's go to our filter one more time. Let's check what other options we have. We have contains, starts with, in, is null. So let's try this contains. It could be interesting. Let's try with only this. And I'm going to remove this second condition. Now we have total sales for cities that are containing BE in their names. So let's see if that's the case. I'm going to click on this table. I'm going to scroll down. Let's click on add a filter and let's click on this city filter. Let's see what cities we have here. Okay, excellent. As you can see, each of these cities contains BE. Let's modify this filter. And instead of contains, let's click on this starts with. Let's click on save. And as you can see, now we have only cities that are starting with PE. Great. Now let's cover date filters that we also mentioned in previous tutorials. If we find this default date range section here, instead of this option here, if we click on custom, we will be able to see specific date range. So we can manually choose our dates or we could choose predefined options. So let's click on this this month. If I click on apply, I will be able to see that we don't have any data for this month. But if I click again on this one and let's click on last quarter. Let's see if we have any data for that period of time and we have, which is great. Now, basically this table is filtered by text value and also by date. Now I would like to also include some slicer. So how can we do that? We can click on add a control and let's choose, for example, in this case, advanced filter. Basically, in this case, we will be able to provide city that is equal to, and now we can provide value. Basically, this filter is similar that we created for this table, except this is dedicated for users. So basically, user can find this filter here and only type a value and find city that is equal to that value. Now, let's choose another filter. Let's click on checkbox. Let's place it here. 
Okay, we need only to provide Boolean values, but we don't have it in our data set, so we will skip this filter for now. But it's important for you to know that also. Let me click on add a control. Let's use drop down list. And now I'm going to choose proper field to include in that filter. So let's choose this product category. I'm going to remove this metric. And now I will be able to see product categories to filter all these charts by using this slicer. Excellent. Let's click again on add a control. Let's click on this date range control. And here we are also able to change our dates and to see specific date range. Excellent. Again, we can click on add a control and this time we will be using slider. This one is interesting for us because this time we will be using values numeric values. Let's provide price and now we will be able to specify only cities in which we are selling products that are above this value. Excellent, now you have also this numeric slice. With this I'm gonna conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.